Welcome to Worcester. This is where we had the Young Independence 2018 conference. After the protesters left, because it was raining, these guys showed up. These are called Morris Dancers. Apparently this is a thing in England. And, yes, they are in blackface. series of thuds when I start to speak. That's the PR officers fainting because they've just realised they forgot to ask me for a copy of my speech so they could proofread it first. <laughs> so, so I just took that as a sign I can write whatever I want because I'm going to jail and I'm taking you all with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be talking about freedom of speech. I'm sure you're all very surprised by that. But it's also really good to see a lot of young faces here, a lot of new faces. That lets me know that I'm doing my job. And firstly, I want to give an update on my legal troubles in regards to the trial. Uh, my fine was due to be paid on the 26th of October and I did not pay it. <laughs> and so after that date, I was basically waiting for the police to come to the door. Two days pass, three days pass, four days and then a week, and I'm starting to feel like maybe they've forgotten about me. <laughs> so, I phoned them. <laughs> <laughs> just to, so, you know, sort of make sure they've got the correct address for me and all that type of stuff. Uh, just make sure they've got all the correct details. Uh, they then informed me that my account is in arrears and past the due date, I said, don't worry, I did that on purpose. <laughs> and I then asked when they would be coming, and they told me that they would come when the computer flagged my name up. <laughs> <laughs> so despite me being on the phone, saying who I am, telling them the address I am currently at, calling the cops on myself, <laughs> they told me that they won't come and get me until the computer says so. I know that a lot of UKIP members want to do a lot to reduce the massive amount of bureaucracy there is in the police, but could we maybe wait on that for a wee while? <laughs> I mean, it bought me a few weeks, so... <laughs> now, uh, did anybody watch BBC Question Time the other night? Yeah. I, I did really, really enjoy it. It was amazing seeing Jordan B. Peterson versus Diane Abbott. <laughs> An intellectual heavyweight against a heavyweight. <laughs> and, uh, Now, I did thoroughly enjoy many of Diane Abbott's comments. Uh, one of the reasons she gave for justifying restriction of speech is due to some of the horrible emails that she receives. And I don't doubt for a second that Diane Abbott doesn't receive horrible emails. I'm sure a lot of them are terrible. I just think we should maybe not strip away the rights of people just because some boomer doesn't know how to manage their email inbox. Was the camera there? Diane, go into settings, 
go down to profanity filter and switch it on. <laughs> It filters out all the rude emails. I would just much rather you did that instead of stripping away the rights of 66 million people. <laughs> and one of the things that she did say though was that my Nazi pug video was incitement to violence. Now, that's quite an accusation to throw out there because me and my dog were not very violent. It's not like me and my dog are going around calling in threats to venues and deplatforming people, walking up to street stalls and smashing them in half and uh, threatening political opponents with violence and terror. I mean, it's not, and well, proclaiming at the same time that we are the good guys. It's not like I am the president of Stand Up To Racism, the modern day version of the brown shirts. Now, one thing that is very important is the right of protest. Now, protesting is a very crucial part of freedom of speech and it must always be protected. Now, whether, or, whether you agree with the protesters or not, those people that were yelling at us outside earlier, for as long as they lasted, uh, <laughs> they have their right to use their voice to protest us, just the, same way to, uh, just the same as we have the right to ask them how much did Soros pay them this time. <laughs> <laughs> But when people try to take away another person's right to speak through fear, intimidation and violence, that is a model for tyranny. And we are seeing more and more groups starting to adopt that method. And the reason that they adopt it is because in debate, their ideas don't win. Because their ideas are shit, apparently. <laughs> but, but they won't do the adult thing of acknowledging that their ideas are bad and developing their way of thinking or even have any kind of self-reflection as to maybe this isn't the right path. They instead seek to aim for an easy victory using dishonest methods because they aren't coming from a place of honesty. They are coming from a place of egoism and narcissism. They are too proud to admit that they might be wrong because they don't care about being right. They just want to win. And imagine being a society where inflicting violence on a person just because you disagree with them is justified. A society where you can be denied jobs and services just because of your politics. And that is no type of society that I want to live in, but it's the one that some of these people are trying to create. However, they look in front of me and see all the fresh new faces that have joined UKIP. And the reason that you're here is because you understand the importance of discussion. You want to mentally develop your way of thinking. You want to be challenged. And even if at the end of that challenge you turn out to be wrong, you will admit it. And you will admit that you were wrong and use that as a learning experience to develop yourself and move forward. You want to have discussions with your political opponents, not silence them. You want freedom of speech for everyone, even the people that you don't like and disagree with. And you don't want to hold anyone to a certain standard that you would not hold yourself to because you understand the importance of being fair and honest and that is what makes us different from the rest of them. And you are open for discussion, debate, and you are open and happy for anyone to have a platform. You overall believe in freedom of speech and therefore a free society and you're the next generation that will be taken over after all the boomers die. <laughs> and that gives me hope. <laughs> Remember, fairness, honesty and integrity is what makes us different from the tyrants. So always hold on to these principles and don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Thanks very much. Count Dankula on YouTube. Everybody should subscribe.